The war in Gaza is spilling into the Red Sea. Missile attacks from Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi militants are disrupting shipping in one of the world's busiest trading routes, and that's threatening to push up energy prices. Companies, including the shipping container giant Maersk, have just stopped using the Red Sea. Instead, they're taking alternative routes around Africa, and that could add weeks to journey times. The Houthi militants say they're attacking any ship with links to Israel, as they support Hamas in its war against the country. They've conducted multiple missile attacks and also attempted to board and seize ships, though for the most part, that's been unsuccessful. And this isn't the first time that the group has targeted commercial shipping. But what we're seeing now is almost daily attacks on cargo vessels and tankers going through that Red Sea route. And the Red Sea is vital because it is the only route to the Suez Canal, which links Asia and Europe. Around 12% of global trade passes through the canal, which represents about 30% of the world's container traffic. And that route has become even more important following the invasion of Ukraine for the transport of oil, particularly for Russia's own exports. US and other Western warships have responded to multiple distress signals from ships in the Red Sea, helping them to repel attacks from these Houthi militants. A maritime protection coalition is now forming, but companies aren't sure yet whether that's going to be enough. Now, there is some slack in global supply lines to act as a buffer to the current disruption. But as we saw during the pandemic, if there's disruption for a longer period of time around those key links, then things can be more difficult.